Hi, I'm Shelley Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and today I want to share with you ice cube tray math. This is really a, a great activity for beginning math skills, and it's very easy and inexpensive to set up. You can buy ice cube trays from the dollar store or anywhere, and they're very inexpensive. This one um, has seven compartments in it, so it will work up to numbers to 14 on here. Besides the ice cube tray, you'll need to have something to put into the ice cube tray, and we just use counting coins, which are these round, flat, plastic coins um, that you can usually buy in packs of 100 online. And I think they're made by Learning Resources. And they fit perfectly into the tray, and they're easy to get in, they're easy to get out. But if you don't have these in your early learning environment, you can use counting bears, you can use buttons, but you do want to watch the size of the items that you're going to be using. If you have children three or under, or children who are still in the stages of putting items in their mouth, you want to use close supervision with this activity. So this can be done as either a, um, a child initiated or a teacher initiated activity or directed activity. And to do a teacher directed activity, the ch each child could have their own tray and the teacher would call out and say, let's put six coins into the tray and, or whatever your item you're using to put in the tray. And so the child would have to count out six coins, two, three, four, five, six. So then they have their six coins in there and they gotta make sure that they have them all in and the teacher could say, now let's take two away, two of those coins away. And the children would take two of those coins away and they would be left with four. And then the teacher would say, now let's add three to those. And the children would add three. So that's one way of doing it where the teacher directs um, what you put in, how many coins are put in and how many are taken out. To have a child, um, centered activity where the, uh, where the child does it, you would have cards made up. Well, the child could just free play with this too and put the coins in and count them on his or her own. But you could also have cards made up. You could have simple subtraction cards, just regular number cards, and simple uh, addition cards. And the child would take one of those cards and do what is on the or on the card. So this one is a six. The child, again, would just put six coins in because that's what's on the card. Four, five, six. And then you could do with the uh, addition cards. This is a very simple equation of one plus two. And this can be done in one of two ways. You can do add one and then add two more. And then you have three. Or you could split the trays up. This would be the first number and this would be the second number in the equation. So one would go here. This is one plus two, so the first number would go here in this row. Two would go into the bottom row. And then, so it's one plus two, and that's three. Uh, for the subtraction, the child would just start out by putting the number of coins in that are in the first spot here. So they have their three coins in. And now they have to take away two. And they're left with one. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this, but again, it's very inexpensive to use. These uh, uh, ice cube trays are divided and, and um, are just, you know, the perfect size to use with these coins or other items that you want to sort or count in here. For Ice Cube Tray Math, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.